Yo, what is going on guys? Z-Boy Sister here. Bring us in for the tutorial to make your own DNA strand model. Something like this looks very, very cool to make and it's very, very simple as well. I'm going to render it out really quickly to show you the materials being used because they'll be available for you in the description below as well to download. So you can download these two materials in the description if you want. Uh, you can change the color for them as well. They're, you know, completely edible. They're just materials for you or materials for Simple 4D. You can use them. It looks very, very good for this cool looking DNA model and looks just very cool with the displacement and, the, you know, just looks really, really good. Uh, so this is very simple to make. Like I said, just keep in mind, it's not only how to make the model, but it's also to pay attention to the little things. So you can also take that information and then use it in the future for the program or whatever. And, you know, just kind of like know what you're doing more in the freaking program. So just pay attention. Anyways, we're going to hide this and get right into it. All right. So we're going to go to our solid shapes and we're going to go to cylinder. And we're going to change the cylinder's radius from 50 to 10. And then we're going to change the orientation from plus Y to plus Z. And what that'll do is keep the cylinder nice and straight and slanted or horizontal, right? Yeah. So anyways, we're going to go to our MoGraph cloner and we're going to drag our cylinder inside our cloner like so. We're going to select our cloner, select, uh, go to object and change our count from 3 to 15. And then once you do that, you can close your cloner up because we're done with that. We're going to go back to our solid shapes, go back to a cylinder and we're going to select the cylinder. We're going to change the radius this time from 50 to about 19 or so just so it's just a little bit more bigger than the uh, original cylinders, cylinders that we use for our cloner. And we're going to go to our height now and change it to 200, from 200 to 755. And then once you do that, you want to take your green arrow and we're just going to drag it up a little bit and just move it to the right a little bit or left. And you can see just enough, so it's, you know, just enough space on the top, just enough space on the bottom. And we can just make a duplicate by just pressing control C V and then moving it to the right. Or you can hold control, take your blue arrow and it'll automatically duplicate it for you like so. So you're going to have this little ladder shape right here. Once you do this, you want to open your cloner back up really quickly and select each of these cylinders. So you want to hold control when you select each of these cylinders. Hold control like so. And where it says height segments and rotation segments, you change it from 1 to 90 and then it changes 36 to about 50. Uh, what segments do with changing these will make the uh, any like, you know, cool deformer that you put on, you know, in a group or whatever on the object itself. It'll make it more smooth or whatever so it's not so choppy because it'll be more segments and actually more control. So once you do that, you want to select that first cylinder. Hold shift and uh, select our last cylinder, press alt G or right click group objects together. And then once you do that, you want to make sure you close your cloner so you don't actually drag your deformer inside your cloner. Go to your deformer tab and go to where it says twist. Oops, not bend. Go to where it says twist and then drag your twist inside your cloner or inside your, your group but below the cloner and make sure it's not inside of it. So make sure you just check just in case it is and isn't. You can see the little box will be at the bottom like so. And you want to uh, select twist, go to where it says mode, uh, change it from limited to unlimited. And this is just simple. You just change your angle, drag it up a little bit or down or whatever way. And it gives a nice little twist. Like I said, if you did not change your uh, your height segments and whatever, so you can just look at this one really quickly. I'm going to just change this to like five or something. And you can see it looks very, very, like, very choppy. So when you put it up, it'll make it more controlled and very nice and smooth. And so once you do that, you can just group these two cylinders together, alt G, and then just drag your, uh, your materials on it. And material on your cloner for the inside and then you have a nice cool DNA strand you can use it for any kind of cool model or whatever and I believe this is like very simple to do as well you can make rope in this way with the twist and the uh, cloner as well if you want to just put like three cylinders together and like a you know just together and make a twist and make it to a rope do things like that that's what kind of like gives you a little cool you know creativity in the program itself so hopefully you guys enjoyed the tutorial make sure you guys leave a like if you haven't 200 likes in this video equals the secret giveaway below in the description don't forget to download these two materials if you want to. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. That's this way, I'll talk to you guys later. This is plus Y.